Hi everyone, you are welcome back to another interesting question. We are asked to calculate the area of the semicircle, which is here. We are given the length of this code to be 3 units in length. This is also 3 units. The length of this is 7 units. So how can we solve this? How can we calculate the area of the semicircle? It is very simple. We know a semicircle is half a circle. So we can say area of semicircle equal to 1 over 2 area of cycle. Formula for calculating the area of a cycle is by R square. Come here, substitute it. So area of semicircle equal to 1 over 2 pi R square. What is the radius though? We don't know, but here obviously this is its diameter and diameter is 2R. Since it's half a cycle, we draw out the other half. So we get a complete cycle. Let's label the point A, B, C and D. Say center is O. Now come here, draw a code that will connect this point A and this C. Look at this triangle. This side AB has its length to be 3 units. This BC also has its length to be 3 units. But if they are congruent, and that makes the triangle ABC an isosceles triangle. In an isosceles triangle, the angles facing the congruent side are the base angles and also equal. So this angle and this are also congruent. Therefore, if we let this be A, this must also be A. Come here, we see this angle is subtended by this side AD, which is a diameter of the cycle. We know the angle subtended by a diameter to the circumference of a cycle is an angle of a semicircle, which is a right angle. That is, this angle is a right angle. Now look at this triangle ACD. Because of this right angle, it is a right angle triangle. We use a circle to work on it. Taking this angle as theta, assume it says to be B. This is the opposite and this is the adjacent. This will be the hypotenuse. From here, CAH means cos theta equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Theta is B, adjacent is 7, and hypotenuse is R plus R, which is 2R. So cos B equal to 7 over 2R. Keep the equation aside. This B, we write it out here. Angle ADC equal to B. The next thing we are going to do, we come here, draw another code that will connect this point B and this. Look at this angle also. It is subtended by this diameter. We already mentioned that the angle subtended by a diameter to a circumference of a cycle is a right angle. So this angle here is a right angle. Now look at this angle ACB and this ADB. They both are subtended by this arc AB to the circumference. We know from the circle theory, there is a rule that the angle subtended by an arc to any point on the circumference is the same. That is, this angle and this are congruent. So since this has its size to be A, this must also be A. We look at this triangle, it is also a right angle triangle, the length of this side is unknown, but this is 3 units, and this is 2R, we use a circle 2R on it, taking this angle as theta, this is the opposite, and this is the hypotenuse, from here, SOH means sin theta equal to opposite of our hypotenuse, theta is A, Opposite is 3 and hypotenuse is R plus R which is 2R. So sine A equal to 3 over 2R. Save the equation. Come back here also. This angle and this are subtended by the same arc. That is they are congruent. 
So since this is A, this must also be A. Now the total size of angle ADC is the summation of this A and this A. We have its size here to be B. So B equal to A plus A, which is 2A. Come to this equation, cos B equal to 7 over 2R. Replace B with 2A. So cos 2A equal to 7 over 2R. Now from trigonometry, there is a double angle identity. The cos 2x equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared x. Let's assume x equal to a. Put it here. So cos 2a equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared a. Cos 2a, we have its value here to be 7 over 2r. While sine a, its value is here 3 over 2r. Substitute them here. So 7 over 2r equal to 1 minus 2 into 3 over 2r all squared. 3 over 2r all squared is 9 over 4r squared. This 4r squared divided by this 2 is 2r squared. So 7 over 2r equal to 1 minus 9 over 2r squared. Multiply through by 2r squared. Here 7 over 2r times 2r squared. This 2 cancels this 2. And r squared divided by r is r. 7 times r is 7r. Here, 1 minus 9 over 2r squared multiplied by 2r squared is 2r squared minus 9. So 7r equal to 2r squared minus 9. Bring 7r to the right. 2r squared minus 7r minus 9 equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation. We solve by factorization. This minus 7r can be written as plus 2r minus 9r. Here, 2r squared plus 2r. We factor out 2r. So it is 2r into r plus 1. And here, minus 9r minus 9. We factor out minus 9. So it is minus 9 into r plus 1. From 2r into r plus 1, minus 9 into r plus 1. We can factor out r plus 1. So it is r plus 1 times 2r minus 9. That means r plus 1 equal to 0 or 2r minus 9 equal to 0. Make r the subject in both. It is r equal to minus 1 or r equal to 9 over 2. r is radius of the circle. It cannot be negative. So we discard this. Therefore, r equal to 9 over 2. Substitute the value of r here. 9 over 2 all squared is 81 over 4. 1 over 2 pi times 81 over 4 is 81 pi over 8. So area of semicircle equal to 81 pi over 8 square units. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, share and comment. And also turn on notifications. Thank you.